Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to AFL 23. We've just had our big major update uh, drop this morning. I don't actually know what's what's been in it, what's been added. There's been no patch notes or anything. It's about 9.20 in the morning uh, at the time of recording this. Uh, but I think we're supposed to have had, I guess, a season update for some of the teams. Obviously, Richmond I know quite well. Uh, so I'm going to have a look at them. And we've got, obviously, uh, new kits. You've got your 2024 kits added. Your 2023 kits are still there, which is great. You can see preseason 23. Do we have a preseason 24, which has pretty much nothing on it? Yes, we do. That's fantastic. And all the bonus kits still remain. Obviously, don't have uh, our Indigenous and Clash and Anzac Day kits because they haven't been revealed just yet. Uh, so I'm sure they'll be added at a later point. But that's a good start to know that the kits are in there. And the first thing I want to do is I want to look and I want to see... Where is the youngest gun in all the land? His name is Harley Reid. Look at him. He's there. He's got all of his head and everything. How do we... Can we zoom in on his scone? Zoom? No. And let's have a little scroll down here to, I guess, some of the younger players, uh, like my Kelty Lafau uh, and Seth Campbell, who supposedly we wouldn't have had the photogrammetry for these types of players, uh, but they've still got, I think, what looks like a generic look and face rather than actually uh you know their, their full head scanned head even though we do have these players like campbell lafau uh and and i guess maybe cool tard was mid-season draft last year so that's why he's already in there um but even though we have these players in the richmond list there are still players missing from the list uh they are the ones that were taken later on in the draft uh, which was Kane McAuliffe, Liam Fawcett, and then their Cat B rookie, Oliver Hayes-Brown. I'm not quite sure when they took him. But essentially, even though those guys don't have, uh, I guess, likenesses yet, they're not even on the list. So there will be some teams who, I guess, have players that have been taken uh, later on in, this, in the draft period uh, that will not be actually on your team's list just yet you're gonna have to wait till the next update for that which is a little disappointing i would have thought in this update we just include all of the players who are on the list and then if you have to update their likenesses at a later date that's what you go ahead and do and if we have a little quick update here at who the highest rated players are bontempelli and rosie and now your top uh top player in the league uh, nothing has changed in the tactics as well, in case you're wondering. They all look exactly the same. Um, maybe how they play out is a bit different. But in terms of actually the amount of tactics you can select, they are all the same. Uh, I'm going to go Giants and the Blues to get us started. All right, let's not muck about and let's get into business. Uh, I'll give you my immediate thoughts and feedback as we get into a game. Carlton won the coin toss, which of course, as we all know, is very, very important. And they'll kick to the left of screen. Yes, the Patrick Cripps. Yes, the Tom DeConning. Jeez, he's got no hair, Tom DeConning. We'd love a long-haired Tom DeConning. It's Mackay and Taylor in one goal square. Hogan and Weedering in the other. Let's have a go. See how, see how it all plays out. All right, and straight away, it was the Blues. Out of the middle. Get him. All right, can't tackle still. Probably a very early overreaction from me. <laughs> oh, handball seemed much better. That's a great start. Inside 50. That's a lovely ball. Finds Toby. Okay, so despite being without the ball, still being a little bit average uh, from the initial impression, it seems like when you've got the footy, you've got a lot more control. The handballs feel a lot better. And I've only done it twice. And I didn't get frustrated already. That's great news. Anyway, we'll see how that plays out. Phoenix got tarred onto the ground. Coning to Cripps. Forward. Oh, over the top, Charlie Kerno. Have a, have a shot, mate. And most key forwards would have a shot from there. Instead, he's decided to actually hit up a lead. Ridiculous. Chewy on your boots. <laughs> he's put it through. It's extraordinary they actually hit a target as well. Oh, what a hit out. Shock and handball. That one was a bit better. There's a good tackle. It was the AI and not me. Why did my player stop and not pick up the footy? That's okay. We'll get a ball up. Yeah, they're hitting targets with ease here. My players are getting absolutely 
Manhandled. Nice, Sammy Taylor. And there's a few things there. One of, I think the major one is, I guess, just yeah, feeling a little bit of an inability to tackle. The AI are just doing that a little bit for me. And that's probably why the scoreline is as it is. That's, that's about it. That's a good clearance. Can I win it back? Jeez, they had numbers on me then. That's better. Yeah, handballs. 100,000 times more elite. 100,000 more times elite. Look at how many handballs I'm hitting up a target with. Gee, that was a good tackle. Can you hit a, hit a man here, Cornelio? That's on the full. Or a point. They almost felt too overpowered, their handballs. But I guess during the chaos of the rest of this game, you kind of need that to be the feeling. Here's the ball inside 50 to Cal Brown. That was supreme. Spills out the back to Daniels. Kick it off the deck, whoever you are. Oh, Hey, I tell you what, the goal umpire looks like he's actually got a brain. I know it's probably a non-noticeable thing. Well, that's holding the ball. No advantage. Thank you. We could just kick this into the pocket. Oh, that's going to work. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, the goal umpire's got a brain. You can see where he's standing. He's sort of... Just to the, uh, to the towards the left-hand goalpost. Lockie Ash will put this through. Does he move across and all? No, he doesn't. But he says that's a goal. This is a good start. I think this is certainly promising. I think maybe the, the one thing I've noticed so far is tackles are a little bit still frustrating to lay. But other than that, and this could be very recency bias, but handballs are obviously... Bloody good. That's a horrible one because I didn't have... Uh... Oh, I wanted advantage there. Handballs have been very good. Uh, I'd love to play on here and use my man that I've got here. Oh, evade. Get rid of it. That's holding the ball. I'll ball it up. Oh, we got a minute. Minute left. Uh, I love that the fade thing doesn't occur. It's another minor thing, but the scoreboard remains the entire time. The scoreboard doesn't fade out every time you get a ball up. Thank you to whoever did that. Love your work. And it is quarter time. I'm only down by a couple of points. Has felt difficult to defend, but I feel like it's also very good to attack. And looking at these stats, there's nothing major. There's no intercept marks either. The, the marking has been very difficult for both sides, I think, apart from the, the speckies that we saw. So the contest feels a bit more even, which is great. I think attacking is definitely super OP, which you kind of want attacking to be quite overpowered, but you want attacking to be OP. You want being with having the ball to be overpowered because in that way it, it makes it better to play if it's more attacking. Yes, it can be frustrating as a defender, but you look at a game like FIFA, it is always about the attacking. Gee, that was very, very out the back of the stoppage and we missed that opportunity there. That's going to come out to no one. Get the handball. Lovely. Get the handball again. Oh, see, that's good defending from the opposition. Look at this. There's a scoreboard. I know exactly how long's left. I love it. I haven't looked too much about what the players are actually doing around the field either. That's probably something I can look at next. Gee, that's well done, Whitfield. Got himself into a great position. Oh, the handball was dreadful. That was probably me. I was on the back foot. I'm giving the game an excuse there, but all right. That's holding the ball. No right. No prior. No, no advantage. See, it is so much better to give a handball and almost immediately be able to put it on the boot. And right now, this, looking at the minimap, guys, it looks like football. There's a bit of a zone defense played by the Blues. They got a million players back there. There's a bit of promise here. Oh, holding the ball. Thank you. So there are some really, really promising signs. Not only from the Giants, but uh, from the game in general. It feels a lot better, which is a terrible word to describe it by saying it feels better. But it does. The handballs are something that are easy to do. The contest is more even. You don't feel frustrated by it. And I'm playing this on hard, I think it was, difficulty. Or maybe hardest, I'm not sure. And the Blues get this nice little clearance goal there. So I was talking a little bit too much. But uh, that's that's good. You kind of need need that to happen. Where they, they need to have those moments where they do play very OP and well. 
So we're just going to pause the game real quick to go through the patch notes. Tons of stuff was in fact added to the game. Um, obviously the key ones were the list updates as well as a few other like balancing things that were added um, and some improvements to a lot of the game. The other one that I didn't actually get to check out during this particular game was the adding a third person camera option at set kicks. To do that you have to press L3 uh, when you have taken a mark or if you're doing it from a kick in but I don't think you'd have to do it from a kick in. So that's the one that maybe I could try in another video um, but I didn't do it in this one. There are more details on this in the patch notes, I'll leave a link in the description to be able to see the in-depth knowledge of each of these notes. Piss off, Gary. This has been a great contest. That's deliberate. That is deliberate. I need to get my Ruckman off here. I need I need Himmelberg or someone else in the Ruck. Hogan, maybe. Kelly slaps it forward to Riccardi. That'll work. Got plenty of options here. And like, look at this. Everyone's moving. You can see that there's... I mean, they're maybe moving a little bit too much. Because lots of players are trying to... Look at what's going on there. There's a bit too much going on there. They sort of got lost in where they wanted to go. And there was about six Carlton players running in a circle. Ward gave the handball. Wasn't a great one. But he got it back. And then he gave it another one to Kelly. We were almost out there. One more handball. Here we go. The orange tsunami will fly through the ground. Oh, we're out here. Nice. Short one over the top. Yes. Who's this? Finn Callahan. No one on the goal line. It's actually a bloke in the pocket on his own. Oh, if only I could kick it more than 35 centimetres. That's my own fault. I charged it very little. Oh, good smother from Hewitt. Handball was terrible. I didn't want it back. Got it a coming. We can work our way up along the wing. Oh, that's... Yeah, look. I feel like you're probably not going to get tackled front on from that position. But all right, it'll happen. It's a game. Not everything's going to be amazing and perfect. This is the best update we've had of the game so far. Oh, here's Harry Mackay. He's run down from behind. That actually wasn't. This is. And he's kicked it from the pocket. Oh, he's done it. Yeah, I've got to win the footy back. Yeah, I needed Hogan in the ruck because Briggs was absolutely spent. Oh, over the top. Kerno. He's OP, but he should be. Have a shot. Oh, that's the second time that's happened. Where I've just lost Motlop in the 50. Six straight. Gee, they really try to just pump it in from the kick in instead of waiting for someone to get clear. That's holding the ball. Advantage, Carlton. Himmelberg. Charging through and oh, on the lead, Brown. That's almost too easy. <laughs> as like obvious if you get a turnover in the middle of the ground will be oh, and I've missed the kick but like you just you literally just tap the ball and it just finds a target and if they're on a lead like that I can I can just I'm just trying to think how is this going to play out in an online game not that I play online I can hear the Giants chant going on here at the Giants end of the ground don't know if that existed in the previous uh, version of the game, but it certainly is happening now. Get him! Canelio from long range. Can Cadman take the grab? No, he can't. Kick it off the deck. He's done it. Extraordinary stuff. Give me a replay of that goal. Have a look at this. He just gets it on the shoe. On the shoe. I'll give you two F words to describe this game. That uh, the first one is frustrating because it's actually not that frustrating anymore this game which is exactly what you want to hear it is a lot more fun and look I'm sure some people might take a little bit of adjusting to get used to it but the game actually makes this this is what it probably should have been at launch yes it's not perfect there are still some issues that are probably less relevant at this given point like the fact sometimes that there's about 50 players running in a circle after a mark. But other than that, the general basics of the game feel great. And it is quite extraordinary. Not a lot, Gary. This is a quality game. There's only been 10 goals, but they've all been great. So uh, a few things I noticed, uh, again, in the stats. Intercept marks is, again, 6-0. So once again, I think if you can mark the ball, you are going to be pretty OP compared to the... 
the AI, but uh, they do still, you know, do a number on you in, in other areas of the ground. I think the clearances, I guess, are fairly even, but they're a lot more efficient going forward with the ball. As you can see, they've kicked six straight. We've kicked four six. Our goals have been a little bit harder to come by, um, and these have mostly been from set shots. So they're, they're just a few things that personally I could probably work on. And if you're thinking about, I guess, um, some of the defensive efforts, they could also be improved as well. Oh, can anyone get on the end of that? Riccardi, maybe. Yeah, see, I'm just looking at where all the players run to now because that's probably the only thing. They just look a bit stupid sometimes. But Carlton is certainly actually backing up their zone defence a lot better, and it does mean that if you do play a bit slow, which, uh, as we know in modern football, will be the death of you, that you're going to have to have extra numbers to contend with. So the hack kick out of the stoppage works, and it's not a great kick, but it's going through. Scores are level, boys. The first of the last. Is that going to be the momentum winner? Look at this OP midfield setup. Green. He's missed. Maybe it was Ward. I thought it was Green. Of the Tom variety. That's, that's not play. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That was very charitable, Hutto. I'll give you that. We had enough to get the lead. Canelio from downtown. He's had 10 possessions already today. This would be capping off a brilliant day. Puts a finger in the sky immediately. He knows it was going through. And all of a sudden, the Giants look very, very good. Here come the Giants fans. Yeah, that's... Is, is, that the, is that the tactic I'm using? Is it attacking? Yeah, attacking midfield. If you win the ball out of the middle and you've got that bloke streaming forward, gee, you're going to be very, very good at this game. But if you lose it, you're going to be left out the back. At the end of 10 minutes, it's a seven-point giant advantage. Tom Green with the clearance to... Oh, Kelly should have marked. And now Chera through the middle. Deconing Cripps. Himmelberg got it away from him. And the handball came back towards Cripps. Can he get his third possession in the play? And put through a cracker. Oh, gee, it's a one-point game, Patrick. Oh, sends it forward. Cadman in a one-on-one. -on -one. Can't beat Wiedering. Toby Green. Oh, big tackle. That saved a shot at goal. That's a dreadful kick in, but it's found acres. De Koning's actually got a heap of space in the middle if they can find him. Had to try and adjust, but they've gone with a dangerous ball to the middle. Himmelberg and Motlop. Big tackle from Himmelberg. Now Tom Green on the wing. He's run down as well. Can the Blues get it inside 50? They go out wide and then forward. Oh, there's Motlop. He's about 60 from goal. Jeez, Kerno's on his own. Oh, they've missed him. They've gone for Martin in the pocket. Tell you what, Ollie Hollands has looked dangerous lately. Briggs to Green. That's what we needed. Just got to get out the back. The giant Sard got the handball away. Then it finds Walsh. Walsh. Oh, no. He's done it. There's maybe one last roll of the dice for the Giants. Oh, that's a terrible handball. Perryman. Through the middle of the ground. 47 seconds. Toby Green. Oh, couldn't mark. Got to win it back. Oh, there's eight. There's six seconds. There is six seconds. That's not enough time. Oh. That is so disappointing. Conceding the last two goals to the Carlton mids and they get it done. Jesse Hogan looks dead. <laughs> There's actually significant improvements to every area of the game that you wanted areas of improvement to be. And that game was fantastically even. Um, it felt balanced throughout majority of the things that I was doing. Um, and there wasn't anything that was super frustrating for me where I felt like the game wasn't responsive or the inputs weren't, uh, you know, up to scratch. It, it did, really did feel like a game that was probably what we should have got at launch, to be fair. Uh, and hopefully, you know, the only way is up from here. And having played this game maybe like a week or two ago, it's completely different, obviously. And I do urge you guys, if you do have the game, to check out the update because I feel like you'll actually be very surprised at how much improvement there actually has occurred to it, uh, which is great news. Uh, there was an issue, I guess, with my Ruckman being really, like, low on stamina. Uh, but other than that, I think the rest of it was pretty even. Like, I was winning the ball fairly 
fairly good amount. The handballs were, were very good. You know, the kicks were very good. It just felt like there was a lot more fluidity, for lack of a better word, in what I was doing. Um, and I think as I play this game a little bit more, I might, you know, I might learn a few more things. There might be some things that, that I'll be like, oh, that's a bit stupid. But um, this is a great spot to be in to be able to make it even better than this. And hopefully it continues to improve. So I'm going to leave it there, everyone. Thanks for watching today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Um, plenty more AFL 23 content to come out. Now that we've got a relatively fun little game going on, I might start to do some challenges uh, rather than a career mode this time around uh, because we don't fully have the lists in from what I can tell. Uh, but hopefully we will get that uh, in that next update, which is due later on. That next update is due in about three or four weeks' time, or five weeks' time, uh, which is when the remainder of the draftees are added, and then there's more um, game balancing from the this update here, which is obviously good to see. So, have a good one. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.